Assalamu alaikum alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The question I'm receiving since yesterday, yesterday was 14th of Shaban, today is 15th of Shaban, last night was 15th of Shaban's night, where we read Salat Asbi, Quran, and speeches we did. And uh, people are saying, how come you guys are commemorating what it is not even proven? This is Bid'ah. We will talk about Bid'ah later on. Uh, first tell me, if you are stopping people coming in a masjid, what good are you doing to people? That's the first question. People coming in a masjid are doing anything wrong. Are they doing anything wrong? They're reading Quran, they're reading Tasbihat, Nawafil. Already people are going away from Masajid. And if this night they are making effort to come in Masjid, you are stopping them. What good are you doing to those people? What they will be doing at home anyway? What kids will be doing at home anyway? Hmm. Anyways, let's go towards some Ahadith that uh, from Ahadith this night is proven. As Aisha Siddiqa Raziyallahu says, that فَقَالَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ تَعَالَى جَنْزِلُ لَلَةَ النِّسْفِ مِنْ شَعْبَانِ إِلَى السَّمَاعِ دُنْيَا That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descends towards the last sky which is more closer to this dunya. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descends means that Allah's mercy descends. And what He does, فَيَغْفِرُ لِي أَكْثَرَ مِنْ عَدَدِ شَعْرِ غَنَى مِنْ قَلْبِ That He forgives more than the number of hairs on the sheep of Banu Qalb. Banu Qalb was the tribe in the time of Rasulullah who had most of uh, the sheep in great numbers. And Allah is saying, I'm not going to forgive more than Banu Qalb the sheep. Allah says the number of hairs on the sheep of Banu Qalb. So why don't we worship in this uh, night when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving us this, this good news? Another hadith narrated by Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu. He says that Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam kanat laylatun nisfi min shaban When the 15th night of Shaban comes, then the Surah Sam giving hukam. What you should be doing? Faqumu laylaha. In that night, qumu, do qayam, stand up, read nimaz, do tahajjud, read whatever your qaza nimaz you have, nawafil. Faqumu laylaha. And when the and when night finishes, next day comes, wasumu yawmaha. And the day of 15th of Shaban, you should be fasting at that day. And then he says, further on, fa'inna Allah janzilu fiha li ghurubi shamsi ila samai dunya. Then at the Maghrib time of 14th of Shaban, but after Maghrib 15th starts, at that time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descends towards the last sky. And what he says, he says, Allah min mustaghfirin li fa'ali fa'aghfira lahu. Is there no one asking forgiveness for me? So I can forgive him. Allah mustarzikun fa'arzukahu. Is there no one asking for risk, provision, so I can provide him? Allah mubtaran fa'u'afiyahu. Is there no one is afflicted with any disease, so I can give him cure? Subhanallah. Allah is, keep asking. Allah kaza, Allah kaza, he just keep asking, keep asking, keep asking. Uh, until when? Hatta yatul wa'al fajr. Until the dawn, until the next sahri. Subhanallah, the why shouldn't we worship in this night? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us true insight of this deen and truly uh, we acquire the knowledge of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum.